Bartow in Cherokee County's Lake Alatoona more than 20 feet higher than it should be. It's been nearly six decades since the levels have reached this level this time of year. In fact, the water level is so high they've been gun releasing water through its dam spillway. CBS 46's Melissa Stern is in Cartersville with a closer look. Just to give you an idea of how high the levels actually are, you're supposed to be able to see reef markers from a distance, but you can see the water is all the way to the top. A neighbor called me and said, hey, Don, uh, I think I just saw your dock float by our, our window. Don Ball lives along Alatuna Lake. His dock broke free of its moorings in the flooding. Clear across the lake, I could see it. He, among other neighbors, say it's been a while since the water levels have reached these numbers. This is probably tied for the highest I've seen it. As of Friday morning, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said the levels were almost 23 feet above the guide curve. Really, there's nothing you can do except just make sure everything's on dry land. And that Alatuna Lake is expected to peak at 853 feet above sea level by March 1st. The water gets so high, you can't get to your boat. It's enough to start damaging docks. We spent the day out on the water with a local company called Towboat US. They showed us where the water usually is and how high the levels are right now. The water level is so high that uh, the ramps are not accessible. The dam is currently generating around the clock to evacuate water. And the dam was built pretty much to, uh, to control flooding downstream. Over the past two weeks, inspectors have measured 14 inches of rain at this dam. And the Highway 92 bridge project has taken a hit because of the flooding. Roads are closed. While locals say the levels are an inconvenience more than anything else, I'm told it can become dangerous when more rain is on the way. It's almost like, gee, I wonder how high the water's going to get this time. The Army Corps of Engineers says it often takes weeks before water levels go back to normal. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.